Hello, wonderful YouTube friends. Hey, I had a couple of uh, requests on uh, how to um, uh, get your Engage up and running uh, from the website, basically. So, so basically, you're going to go to the website, right? You're either going to create an account, or you can just go to the website on the support side of it, right? Right there, Lun Support. Okay. Once you go there and you either log in or you uh, you just go to the support site, you scroll down to where you see Mustang, right? So this is where you get your data log right here. So you click on that link, you go into it, right? Um, here is the actual file right there okay it's a generic file but that's how you actually uh, data log your car all right so in on your engage this is what it looks like so I'm actually go inside of mine in just one second let me go to all right my folder should pop up in just a second there it is right there so this is where you put that generic file into your configuration folder fortunately Lund sent me a, a, a file but it's basically the same thing all right um, it's the same exact uh, generic they just named it for me uh, something differently oh wow why oh, that keeps exploding Okay, so that generic file right there goes into your configuration folder, right? Then after you do that, um, this is where all your custom tunes go inside of the custom folder, right? Right here is where your data logs are going to wind up, right? You'll see in just a few seconds, I'll, I'll show you. But this file right there is what they're requesting. This is the file that they want sent to them. Okay. Um, this is your stock file. Of course, this is your car where it started from the very beginning. Um, uh, transfer folder. I've, I've never used a transfer folder. I don't even know what that's used for. But they have it on there anyway. Uh, make sure that you have the current firmware. Current firmware right is right here. Uh, 195. Uh, if you don't, your engage actually won't even cut on so you got to make sure that that's inside of your SD card all this other wonderful stuff will come come along with the updated firmware all right let me uh, get out of here all right so now we're gonna go to the engage I'm gonna disconnect from my computer all right so this is where you want to do data log all you can just click that data log all right data log right here all right so you're gonna have that wonderful folder it's gonna be that generic uh, excuse me generic file all right this is what it looks like when you finally get it you can also cl click um, the check button all right so now it's in the data logging area so right now my car is running I can press up and down look at all the configurations that are in the background but now since my car's been running for like a minute, I let it warm up, the fan's on and everything, it's all juicy. Now, what you wanna do is, you wanna go hit the road, right? As soon as you get on the freeway somewhere, or, or however you're gonna do it, um, uh, you're gonna get up to about 2,500 RPM, right? You're gonna get up to about 2,500 RPM, and then once you get to 2,500 RPM, as a matter of fact, you don't even have to do that. As soon as you approach the, the freeway, just click the top right there. Right now, it says that it's recording, right? And it's on file number two, right? So what you're going to do is you're going to hit wide open throttle on, in third gear from 2,500 RPM on out, right? Then once you're done, then all you get is tap the screen again, 
and then it's gonna stop. You hit the little X, you get out of there, hit the little X, hit the end gauge if you wanna go back to your, your, your settings and everything. You see how your car is running and everything? That's what it looks like, okay? So um, if I advise you to probably do, I don't know, two pulls at least, so they, they can get a, a good reading and, and then just send them the file. Now that we've seen this, I'm gonna show you what that data file looks like. Let me exit. I'm gonna show you what that, that data file looks like now. Go back to USB. for it to pop back up on my computer. Eventually, when it decides to. Okay, there it is. So now, I'm gonna go back to the, to the data log. This is the logs file right here. Double click that. See number two? There it is. That's the file that you want to send them, or number one, or however many you decide to create. But that's what you want to send them, and then they can they can see what's going on. All right.